सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दिस न्यू वीडियो सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव कंक्लूडेड विद मॉड्यूल वन ओके एंड वी हैव कवर्ड अराउंड सेवन टू एट वीडियोस ऑफ दिस सब्जेक्ट दैट इज वी एल एस आई डिजाइन एंड टेस्टिंग ओके वी हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड विद मॉड्यूल वन द वीडियोज आर अवेलेबल इन द प्ले लिस्ट प्लीज गो एंड वॉच ऑल ऑफ ओके सो फ्रॉम टूडेज टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द मॉड्यूल टू द नेम ऑफ द मॉड्यूल इज मॉस ट्रांसिस्टर हियरिंग Okay, we are going to study the complete uh, procedure or, or, or the process technology which comes under this metal oxide semiconductor field of transistor theory. Okay, so this is uh, uh, this uh, PDF is made by us only by VTU Academy. Okay, this notes uh, uh, with this notes only I'm, I'm I would be explaining you the concepts which is uh, there in the module two. Okay, so this notes we would be putting it in the description. so you could uh, access that from the description uh, and uh, whatever i explain uh, you should be listening to it very carefully if you are if you want to understand it which would be easy for your exam okay so what and all i i have provided in this notes uh, it is it is with the exam point of view only okay all the important ones i'm going to cover with these videos okay so i'm going to make around 6 to 7 videos or uh, more of this module 2 okay regardless of the type uh, it takes so yeah let us start with module 2 now so our, our, as i told you the name of the module is mos transistor theory okay so before that let us get to the first that is the background that is introduction to mos transistor characteristics so what and all we have discussed in the first chapter or first module in the first chapter we learned that mos transistor can be thought as a thought of as an ideal switch right it could be used as a switch a simple transistor you as you know that a simple transistor could be a npn or pnp transistor that is a bipolar junction transistor a simple transistor can be used as a switch right but in the first module we have also discussed that how could be using the mos transistor as a switch that is basically there are two types of uh, transistor which we have discussed in module 1 that is n type that is n mos transistor and p type p mos transistor okay and we have seen their functionalities okay they are just inversely proportional to each other okay and we have seen the switch conditions as well in the first module with we have compared with some of the combinational logic circuits as well and we have performed some of the operations also in the module 1 okay so in this chapter we go deeper into the real behavior of mos transistors okay how the behavior of this mos transistor would be working for different circuits that we are going to observe especially how they behave non ideally that is not perfect okay this figure here shows different symbols used to represent the mos transistor okay you see here figure 2.1 that is a it is a basic signal uh, basic symbol used only when logical uh, uh, logical things matter so this is the symbol okay we have an nmos and pmos transistor here okay next b shows the substrate connection that is Which uh, which is important in more detailed diagram. If you want to connect the through the P type and N type substrate, we should be having the uh, transistor in this shape, where the arrow is towards the body terminal, which is facing towards the transistor. Then it is called as a N type uh, substrate transistor, and this is P type substrate transistor. Okay. Next, figure two point one C. Other symbols that might appear in the text or literature. Okay, so these are some of the. basic symbols which you need to be representing for nmos and pmos transistors okay so this you need to be knowing next let us see the mos transistor operation okay a mos that is a metal oxide semiconductor transistor is a majority carrier device okay that means that the current flows due to the majority carriers that is it might be majority majority of electrons as well as majority of poles okay it depends on the type of transistor which we take that is if it is nmos then it, it uh, the majority charge carriers are electrons if it is pmos the majority charge carriers are poles okay they are mentioned here nmos and pmos so nmos working so these are just to brush up from what we have discussed in module 1 okay because uh, these things you need to be knowing for module 2 as well okay nmos working that is positive voltage control gate voltage vg is applied positive with respect to the substrate when vg is more than the threshold voltage the electrons are attracted and a conducting channel is formed when vg is less than that of the threshold voltage the channel is in cut off region cut off state no current flows between drain and source this is the meaning of cut off that is when the no current is which flowing between the drain and source terminal then only we say that the uh, So voltage or the current circuit is in the cut-off state. Okay, 
Next is PMOS working, negative voltage control. Okay, basically, it works similarly but with negative voltages and holes as carriers. Okay, just uh, the uh, which since these are inversely proportional, whatever it, this NMOS works right, the inverse of that the PMOS would be working. Okay. Next is important parameter threshold voltage. So let us see about threshold voltage. Threshold voltage is the voltage at which the MOS transistor starts conducting. Okay, if you want to see the conductivity of any medium, we should be varying it with respect to the threshold voltage given to that transistor. Okay, it affects how easily the transistor switches on or off. Okay, it depends on the switching condition of a transistor. Okay, that is when the switch is uh, the switch is uh, in on state. The, where, where the transistor is in on state, the threshold voltage applied be varying with respect to the transistor in off state. Okay. Next, the IDS versus VGS curve shows how drain current changes with respect to gate voltage that we are going to discuss later. Okay. Next, let us see some of the difference here between enhancement mode versus depletion. Okay, this you need to be knowing. We have few of the parameters here uh, with respect to enhancement and depletion mode. First is behavior at respect to VGS equal to zero. When VG is equal to zero, there is no channel in case of enhancement mode, and in case of depletion mode, the channel already exists. Okay, and uh, the conductivity it does not conduct, which in, in, in enhancement mode it does not conduct, and in depletion mode it conducts. Okay, it is basically in off state in case of enhancement, and in depletion is it in on state. Okay, enhancement mode most commonly used in CMOS circuits. Okay. Uh, depletion mode is not used, so enhancement mode is used in mostly all the CMOS circuits that we are going to see it in the later part. Next is N channel and P channel are duals of each other, that is opposite polarities for voltages. Okay. Next is key takeaways, MOSFET is equal to switch but with real world behavior. VT is the, that is threshold voltage is the key to understand how or when the switch is on, which I already discussed. Next is enhancement mode is used in CMOS designs today, which I already told you just now. Both NMOS and PMOS are used together in CMOS circuit. All, already we have discussed this in module 1. Okay, so these are some of the basic introduction part which you need to be knowing before starting this module. Okay. Now let us see these four curves here. Okay. For that, let us start with the introduction part of MOS transistor. Okay. MOS transistor is a major, listen to this very carefully, it is not there in this slide. MOS transistor is a majority charge carrier device in which the current in a conducting channel between the source and drain is controlled by a voltage applied to the gate terminal. Okay. So, here it is the voltage which is applied to the gate terminal would be causing the change in the drain to source voltages that is VDS voltage with respect to the uh, I, uh, IGS current. Okay. So, with respect to that only, these are the plots shown here for enhancement mode as well as depletion mode. Okay. The for both uh, NMOS as well as PMOS, they have shown it. Here. Okay. So, here there's uh, this figure you see here conduction characteristics for enhancement and depletion mode transistors assuming a fixed VGS that is gate to source voltage. Okay. So, see here these are the four plots here. First is gate to source voltage VGS here. You see here for a uh, N channel enhancement, this is the drain current and the VTN, the, the graph slightly increases and it goes on increasing, okay, with respect to the voltage provided, okay, that is, it is strictly greater than 0, okay, here in case of depletion mode, the graph will be varying from, uh, we won't be varying after 0, but it starts slightly before 0, you see here, okay, similarly for PMOS condition also, gate to source voltage and uh, drain current and P type channel enhancement. So, here it goes after it decreases after 0, and here gate to source voltage for with respect to the depletion, it decreases slightly before 0 and the curve remains the same. Okay. So, these four plots you need to be knowing. Okay. Just uh, observe these four plots very carefully. Okay. Yeah. Now, let us discuss with NMOS enhancement transistor. Okay. So, let us see now because this is there in the syllabus, so that is why I have included here. An NMOS enhancement type of transistor is built on a, modernate, a modernately doped P type silicon substrate. Two heavily doped N type regions okay, are diffused into the substrate. These are source and drain terminals. Between them lies a narrow P type region which is called the channel 
covered by a thin insulating layer of silicon dioxide that is SiO2 layer known as the gate oxide. Okay. So, this is basically you could say a definition of how an most enhancement transistor looks. Okay. So you could see the diagram here. So, above this oxide is a polysilicon gate electrode. You see here, uh, this is the gate oxide, right? So, this part is a gate oxide here. Okay. Above this gate oxide, we have one simple polysilicon layer with the gate electrode, where the, which is represented here. You see here, this is the, that polysilicon gate electrode layer here. Okay. Polysilicon, what is this polysilicon? It is a form of silicon that isn't a single crystal. Okay. It is not a single crystal, it uses multiple crystals. So, these dots you could see here, right? These are the form of crystals here, uh, these dots. Since SiO2 is an insulator, that is silicon dioxide is an insulator in uh, medium, the gate current is essentially zero, okay? The source and drain are physically identical due to the structure symmetry. So, see here the structure symmetry here, the, these two doped n-type regions and source and drain, if you see in the figure, are uh, symmetrically uh, 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 the opposite to each other, it's like a mirror reflection you see here for source and drain, right? The source and drain are physically identical due to structure symmetry. SiO2 allows the high electric field to be applied because of its high dielectric strength and low loss, okay? So, based on the explanation here, this is the figure here, where we have three terminals, source, gate and drain. We have gate oxide, that is SiO2 layer, silicon dioxide, which is named as gate oxide. And above that, we have a simple polysilicon layer which is covered with multiple crystals. Okay. So, this is basically the depletion region here. Okay. Where we are having the channel. And these are the charge carriers with respect to electrons as and holes. Okay. Electrons coming and uh, coming inside and uh, holes are going outside. These are the two n-type regions. And this is a complete P substrate. Okay. Here, this is the substrate voltage which is usually equal to the ground voltage that is equal to zero. Okay. It is given to ground. So, this is the physical structure of an NMOS transistor. Okay. So, please note this structure down. Next working principle. Let us see the working principle now. Initially, a positive voltage VDS is applied between drain and source. In, in case of NMOS enhancement type of transistor, a positive voltage of VDS voltage is applied between drain and source. If gate voltage VGS equal to zero, no current flows because the source and drain are isolated by two reverse bias PN junction. Okay. If and only if the gate voltage is equal to zero, there, is, there would be no current flowing between source and drain because due to the two reverse bias uh, PN junctions, the current would be nullified. Okay. When a positive gate voltage VGS is applied with respect to the source and substrate, that is when VGS is greater than zero, it creates an electric field that attracts the electrons, okay, that attracts the electrons to the gate and repels the holes, okay. If VGS is large enough that it, it is highly greater than zero, the region under the gate turns from P type to N type forming a conductive path, okay. The conductivity medium would be only appearing when the VGS value, VGS value is uh, uh, slightly large, okay. So, this process is called as the inversion and the structure becomes the n channel device okay this change is illustrated in the uh, below figure that is figure 2.4 if you observe here okay the explanation where uh, when vgs equal to 0 and vgs is uh, greater than uh, vgs is slightly equal to the threshold voltage vt and vgs greater than vt you could see the changes appearing in the structure okay so please observe this very carefully okay about how the polysilicon gate and uh, silicon dioxide in insulator changes with respect to the electrons and holes as the charge carriers, okay. See the changes, observe it very carefully. This inversion layer is field induced, unlike in bipolar junction transistors where n-type is formed by doping. So, here in the BJT transistors, the mainly due to the doping, you could be seeing the change in the uh, structural substrate, right after the doping procedure. But here in case of uh, CMOS technology, the doping is not coming into the picture. We are using the formation of inversion layer where the P-type device is, uh, P-channel is converted into the N-channel, okay. So, this inversion layer substrate junction is a field induced junction, okay. So, this is the basic working principle of this NMOS enhancement type of transistor along with this figure, okay. Please you could be uh, noting this down. 
Next, we have the behavior of the NMOS device. The MOS device acts as voltage controlled switch. It starts conducting when VGS is greater than or equal to VT. Okay, the condition for behavior of NMOS device is it starts conducting only when the VGS voltage is greater than or equal to VT. Okay, if the, here in this case, see here we have two cases one is equal to and one is greater than. It should not be less than VT because it, if it becomes less than VT, the polysilicon layer and the silicon dioxide uh, insulator would be. Uh, uh, converging, uh, so that's why the converging would be taking place, and uh, due to that, the substrate would be getting spoiled. Okay, so that's why this is the behavior of the NMOS device. When VDS is applied, there are two electric fields that is, one is vertical field that is gate to substrate, and another one is horizontal field that is source to drain. Okay, May basically, we uh, fo focus on this field that is horizontal field, these fields interact allow condition along the channel. So, these uh, are the conditions here you could be seeing here. So, this figure illustrates the NMOS device behavior under the influence of different terminal voltages. Okay. So, see here in this case, the VDS is less than or equal to VGS minus VT. So, this is the inversion layer and all. How the layer will be formed in the depletion part. You see here. Okay. The slight change we are observing here. So, this change you should be observing very carefully. Okay. Next is when VDS is greater than VGS minus VT, what are the changes observed here? We have one pinch off form, the channel pinches off. So, this leads to the saturation mode. Okay. So, this is basically in linear or resistive mode. In case of linear mode, no channel is formed. And in case of saturation mode, the channel pinches off. Okay. Channel would be pinching off uh, with the condition of saturation mode as VDS is greater than VGS minus VT. Last is the depletion region that is the area with no mobile carriers electrically insulates the channel from the substrate. Therefore, no significant current flows through the substrate. So, you could be saying that VGS is greater than VT or VDS is equal to 0. Okay, When no current flows, the circuit would be in the depletion region. How it appears? It is given in this figure. Okay, So, please note these three figures down. Very important. Okay. So, uh, as I have already uh, told you about the three conduction regions of MOS transistor, one is cutoff region. In cutoff region, VGS is less than VT, only leakage current flows, no inversion is taking place. Second region is linear region, that is weak inversion. In this, the VGS voltage is greater than or equal, uh, greater than VT, but uh, VDS is uh, small. Okay. IDS increases linearly with VGS. Next is saturation region, strong inversion. That is VGS is greater than VT and VDS is greater than VGS minus VT. In this case, VDS is less than VGS minus VT. IDS become nearly independent to VDS, okay, in case of saturation region. So, these are the conduction regions which I have told you, okay. So, this was all about the NMOS transistor working with the different substrates in different regions that is linear, saturation and cutoff and how the working principle is a uh, uh, of this NMOS enhancement transistor also we have seen in this video, okay. So, that's all for this video guys. Hope you understood something. So, uh, we'll uh, conclude this video now. We'll see with uh, one more kind of transistor that is PMOS transistor in the next video, okay. So, that's all guys. Like, share, subscribe to our channel and thank you if you have stayed till here. So, your support means a lot to us guys. So, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.